Hi everyone, my name is Charlie. If you clicked on this video, then you're probably interested in going to Berlin, which is great because I have 10 things you should know before you go. Now you're probably wondering, how am I qualified to talk about Berlin? Well, let me tell you, through Mason's Global Education's office, I completed their two month long Berlin internship program at a company called Workout for Happiness. There, I worked on the gamification of the company's health and wellness app. But that's enough about me. Let's get into the 10 things you should know. The first thing you should know is that Berlin is a startup hub and being so, they have a lot of co-working spaces and they have a very large dress code. Basically, as long as you come in some type of shirt and pants or shorts, you should be good. But just to be safe, make sure you ask your employer the dress code beforehand. Second thing you should know is that the train and buses run all night on the weekends and a few buses run all night during the week. This is some information that I wish I knew beforehand. Long story short, I was with friends late at night in a part of town that wasn't the most familiar to us. All our phones were either dying, dead, or had no service and there was some confusion about when the last train ran. So at a set of missing the last train, we all caught what we thought was the last train to a friend's house to sleep for the night. Now I know what you're thinking. There's no way that this would happen to me. I carry around like five portable chargers so my phone would never die. First, no one carries around five portable chargers. And secondly, similar situations happen to everyone on a day-to-day -day basis. But now that you know this information, you won't have to worry about missing the last train on the weekends. The third thing you should know is that you should rent a bike. Berlin has a great public transportation system, but getting around by bike is way better. There are so many different nooks and crannies in the city that you would completely miss out on if you took rode the subway everywhere. And if you're there for an extended period of time, say a two month long internship, I recommend you rent a bike from Swap Feeds. This company rents bikes monthly and it's much cheaper to rent a bike monthly than rent one daily. Uh, even if you ride the bike only a few times a month, it's still cheaper. The fourth thing you should know is that Berlin has a very diverse food scene. I don't think when you get to Berlin that it's only gonna be authentic German cuisine. They have something there for everyone from vegan and vegetarian restaurants to the carnivore lovers out there and everyone in between. Nothing epitomizes this more than the street food market at Mark Telenoin every Thursdays at 6 p.m. There is literally something for everyone there. Still on the topic of food because I love food. Food is cheap and good in Berlin especially donors. Donors are great to have anytime, lunch, dinner, after a late night out, whenever. They're cheap too. A huge donor could cost three euros or less. And if you don't know what a donor is, it is a Turkish dish that originated in Berlin, or so they say, and it usually consists of chicken or lamb farmer or falafel and a bunch of veggies and with your choice of sauce, all stuffed inside a pita bread. The number six thing you should know is that there mall and grocery stores are closed on sundays um this also includes the pharmacies but good news restaurants and cafes are open there's also a ton of flea markets in berlin and different parts of the city that you can go visit on sundays piggybacking off my last tip do not go to the grocery store on saturdays or at least go very very early on saturdays since the grocery store is closed on sundays everyone does their shopping on saturdays so it's pretty packed and items may be picked over or missing Think Trader Joe's the night before a snowstorm. The eighth thing you should know is that you should visit Mauer Park on Sundays. Mauer Park has one of those flea markets I was just talking about, but there are other things to do there, like tons of other things to do there. You can, of course, buy souvenirs from that flea market. You can eat great food at one of the food stalls. You can relax and enjoy the beautiful views at the park, or you can sing karaoke. Uh, this is one of the things that Marvel Park is most well known for. It has been in a bunch of movies and things like that. They have a huge amphitheater style seating that fits roughly 100 people. And they all come and listen to people sing karaoke on Sundays. The ninth thing you should know is that Berlin is a cash city. The bigger, more well-known stores allow you to pay in credit and debit card. But if you go to smaller places, smaller food places, thrift stores, they may only want to pay want you to pay in cash. So this is something to be cognizant of. The 10th thing you should know is that Berlin is a fairly cheap city compared to other European countries. As I mentioned earlier, the donors are very cheap. This is the case for a lot of things, clothing, experiences, a bunch of other things. But FYI, some thrift shops I found could be a bit expensive, but it's all relative. And you have, I have one bonus thing that you should know is that you should visit one of the many lakes outside the city on hot summer days. When I was there, Berlin was going through a heat wave 
and since it was no AC in most of the places in Berlin, a lot of the residents or people there visit one of the lakes on the weekends to go take a dip and cool off. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this information useful. And you should check out one of our Berlin internship brochures on our website or any of our other internship brochures. If you have any questions, feel free to email the geo staff, intern staff at gointern.gmu.edu or you can visit our website at studyabroad.gmu.edu forward slash internships to see all the internships we have to offer. Thank you. Bye.